one. I'm super excited, guys. It has been such a great weekend. I hope you all had a fantastic weekend and you guys are ready to be here and getting crafty with us. It's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. So stick with us in today's video. We are going to make some really awesome crafts. So get excited. It's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. We're waiting for it to pop up over here to double, triple check everything is working and everything is what we need it to be. Rachel, I'm a little nervous. It's I not. I know, it's not for some reason. Do you want to refresh the page? Maybe that will help. I don't Don, know. Dawn said good morning. Well, let's refresh the page and make sure okay. it's good Here just go. to make sure people are popping in, but we may... <gasps> We're alive! We're alive! <laughs> we had to refresh our own page. Here we are. That's funny. Um, so, super happy. Hey, good morning, everyone. As you all are tuning in, share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what you've got going on in your neck of the woods. Super, super exciting stuff. Are we having some connection issues? Well, I did this yesterday right. at the end of the live. So everyone, how's the feed? Is it yeah. is everything coming Maybe through clear? Maybe refresh one more time just to just to double triple check for us um, to see how it's going. Looks fine. Um, but yeah, what's everyone saying in the comments? Everyone says hello where they're visiting from. Hello from Denmark. Sharon says hey Tanner and Rachel. Uh, Judith says good morning. Hello everyone. Hello from South Dakota. Yay. I love that. So I'm going to double check, double check on my uh, phone just to make sure because we would hate to be live somewhere and it's not working. But it looks like it's going great on my phone. Good. I have no idea why. Maybe we're using too much uh, Wi-Fi. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're doing good. So good morning, everyone. Sorry. we Making sure this technology works is like an arm and a leg worth of um, work. So yes. anyway. We're still working out some kinks. Yeah, it's fun. Definitely working out the kinks, guys. Happy, happy Monday. Super happy you're here. In today's video, we are talking about our brand new Disney inspired collection of cut files. There are so many for you guys to take advantage of. And Disney inspired files is one of the number one things when people join the membership, they're asking, do we have those or anything like that? So this collection has been very much member requested, which is oh, great. Oh my gosh. Yes. But we worked hard on it. It's out. I hope you guys love it. And for everyone who's not a member yet and they come and they see the files, I know they'll love it too. Exactly. But we're super excited to use use them today and let you all see some crafty fun we've got because we haven't used one in a live yet, Tanner. We have not. We just launched all the files on Friday. There's still one or two things we're working to update for you guys. So stick with us and there's like one spelling error we're correcting and everything like that. Some of our Windows friends were having some issues up in opening like the first nine SVG of the SVGs. We are correcting that. Again, that's part of like a Windows update. We're just going to monitor and correct for you guys. So it's going to be a lot of fun and we are super excited. What's everyone got going on today, Rachel? Everyone's so excited for the Disney collection. Yay! They're saying, you know, what their grandkids love when they're going. We've got some people going in May, Barbara said, which is great. Tracy says, hey, Tanner and Rachel, I just finished watching your craft room tour video Aww. again. I think I just need to hear y'all's voices. That is so sweet. I hope you all enjoy that video. We love our um, craft room tour. So if you have not been able to watch the craft room tour, what a great idea to go through and enjoy that. It's such a great um video like there's a lot of stuff in there right yeah i love i love i've rewatched it a couple of times too i just love seeing everything and of course working in here yeah. with all of our shelving and stuff it's so um it's really practical i love how we've got it laid out yeah you know if you all have not been able to see our space i think it's pretty impressive to see what you can do in such a small space like what you all really see is like this back here like all the time um but really aside from that there's not much more no um, we just have... a lot of craft supplies but it's super strategically placed so it's, it's a great idea for anyone who's got a small craft room, you know, definitely. to be able to maximize their space as well. Yeah, so definitely check that video out. It's just our craft room tour here on the channel. But guys, if you're not a member, we're going to take you through some of our Disney files just because I know you want to see these um, because they're really impressive. I love these and they're really fun. So here are some of them. We're just going to flip through if I can flip through. I'm using iZip, which you guys know I highly love this app to manage my SVGs on my um, iPad, which we're super excited about having the ability to. 
These are some amazing like print and cut files, like snack goals. That one's one of my favorite ones. This I one's love that. like Rachel. We're gonna use this in like a ton of different. Yes, ways. it's got the Dole Whip. It's got all the Disney World. All the good stuff. Good stuff. All the good stuff. And Rachel, look at this. We have practically four different images. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In one file. That's what I'm talking about. People, Tanner is sneaky in it's, a good way. It's good stuff. This right here, I'm super excited to pick out some different paper, some different vinyl, um, and start using it. So really good stuff there that's like ombre it's really cool yeah this is gonna be a great multi-layer iron-on project rachel who does not want to have I the best that. day ever which could also be your most expensive day ever. it's so cute but I, I bet that anybody who's been to disney can say that it's worth every penny yes definitely they everyone loves disney um disney bound this is gonna be one of my favorite t-shirts for the kids to wear at the airport yes how wear cute. on the road trips like this is gonna be so amazing um, so hope you guys are enjoying this. Rachel, if there's anyone letting, uh, talking about like a connection issue, let me know. No one's um, saying anything. Good. I think it's, it's clear over on there. Right. Yeah. My first uh, Disney trip, which we love. This is adorable. I love, look at the little Mickey pants. Yeah, so cute. Um, then we have Just Married. We've got all kinds of fun ones. Mickey, uh, Mickey Money. We cannot wait to do a project with Mickey Money. Um, for ways that you guys can, you know, as a family, save money for Disney, as it is definitely something that you're going to want to save money for and put back. Disney vibes. We love the Disney vibes. I love the font here with the vibes. Our hand lettering artist did wonderful. Um, Never grow up, which oh, I think gosh. is so adorable. I love that one. It's great. And then we have best day ever love yes and if you notice with these files they can be used for anything they're super versatile mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. handbags wall art whatever if you're a disney fanatic just put it on everything you know yeah and with the fonts coming out tomorrow for year members this is a great time to join the membership if you haven't already at that first link down below um, and then we also have you know the disney collection ready to go right away straight out of disney with the little mickey ears on the O. Oh, adorable and then this kid is going to Disney, which I think it's so cute. Yes, more family shirts. I love it. Just married. We got more of those. World Traveler. Super cool. If you can dream it, you can do it. Um, oh, Mickey, you're so fun. Oh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's I have to say it like that. Yes, you um, have to. And then this one's really adorable. Um, I'm 99% sure I'm Disney Princess. I'm gonna make sure Rachel wears this shirt. Well, I am. <laughs> I am 99.9% sure. And then this is our file that we need to correct the spelling on Believe in. So sorry from our perspective about not catching that sooner. But guys, if you all wanna go ahead and get that, it is on our digital die cutting dashboard. If you're one of the over 2000 members of makersgolearn.com that has access to our digital cut file dashboard, um, the Disney collection is ready for you guys to download. As you can see in there, there's way more files than what I just shared with you. There's print and cuts, there's some cards, there's everything. Um, and you also get access to all of these other files. Um, year members get access to some additional courses, which we love. Um, we kind of look, people love seeing behind the scenes of what the dashboard looks like so they can kind of get a feel if they want to be a member. So these are the courses our year members get over $150 value. And then you can download our Cricut printable guide are what vinyl should I use? So this is one of our printables. We love keeping this here on our craft room. We're gonna be using that in today's video. Um, the what vinyl should I use printable, our member only Facebook group. So seriously guys, if you have not been able to check out our sign up page, it's the first link down below. And you can see here, it gives you all the information to get your membership today. It talks about our monthly collection of cut files, our free commercial use lessons, um, our different membership tiers. And our year membership tier is obviously our best because you get the fonts, you get the bonus trainings, you get all that fun stuff, um, and it's really enjoyable. So read about some of our things here on the site, but definitely go over, get your membership today. It's going to be a lot of fun. So Rachel, what's everyone saying? Everyone is saying happy Monday. Yay. Um, oh, Court chimed in. Hey, Court. Hi, Court. She <laughs> said the spelling on the um, that Believe error in the Mickey yes. collection has already been corrected in the dashboard. Yay. So, so when you download your collection, it's going to be all proper and good to go. Yes. So we love that. So yeah, is everyone else having a great day? I hope I hope are. so. Yeah. And Barbara says, are we able to sell items made with these images? Yes. Our membership has a complete um, free commercial use license um, for the different membership tiers. 
um, but you have to have a current active membership. And I do wanna let you guys know, if you are not a monthly, six month or yearly member right now, um, moving forward in the very, very near future, all of our monthly members that are currently a monthly member will be grandfathered into our free license, our free commercial use license. But after a certain period, which is coming up, um, only year members will have access to that free commercial use license. So if you have been a monthly member all since the beginning, you will still have it. Um, just new monthly members will lose the free commercial use license and just receive a personal use license. So if you want that free commercial use license included in your membership, um, highly recommend getting a membership sooner rather than later um, because that is one thing that's switching. But we wanted, we heard from a lot of our members and if you're an existing monthly member, um, you're going to be able to keep it. So that's really cool. So we love that. Um, but do we have any questions before we start talking about today's project? Of course we do, Tanner. Yay! We always have great questions. And um, let's see the first one. Any suggestions for good quality shirts? That's a great question. We love the next level t-shirts from Amazon. They have, we love them for a few different reasons. They're great. We never see too much shrinkage love the quality, love wearing them. I wear them all the time. Yeah, they're um, super soft. They have V-neck and the U-neck. So, yes. you know, and it's none of that unisex crap. It's men's and women's, so they fit well. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, so I, I hate unisex t-shirts, you know, just. <laughs> they're so the, odd. Yeah, the fitting, it's really well. Love the next level. They're very true to size, too. Yes. So just go over there and buy you a ton because yeah. everyone loves love them. Love that. And they're really affordable, like six bucks a shirt or something. Um, I'm sure you can get them in bulk if you need more. I'm sure you can find them on different websites. We obviously use Amazon because, hey, convenience um, is definitely interesting um, and important. So are there any other questions? Well, no more questions, but any we've got a comments? couple of people saying they've already printed out their awesome Yay! guide. I've already so... seen you guys posting in the Facebook group with your guide, and I'm just so excited to give this as a value um, to your membership. So if you're not a member, this is just another one of the amazing perks to get your membership because we love that. Um, and you guys are amazing going ahead and printing these out. Enjoy it. There's a lot of quick references in here for print and cut. We're going to use the Easy Press temperature um, chart today. This is the page we need. Oh, see the stupid coil. Oh my gosh. I, I feel really nervous ever using these. Do you feel nervous using these, I do. These, Rachel? I do. I feel like I'm going to break it. It doesn't feel super it. secure, but there's other types you can get, like yeah. our Office Max and things like that. There are. So this is the one we're using today for glitter iron-on, which we'll talk more about very soon in the project. Um, and I'm just super excited. So if you guys are ready, we're about to get crafting. Rachel, is there any other questions? Yes, Connie has a good question. Hey, Connie. Is there a tutorial on downloading the files from the dashboard? <gasps> Connie, you are reading my mind. Of course there are. Um, so you can go right here on the dashboard. So here's the dashboard, guys. If you get your membership and you are feeling a little lost, this is the first page you're going to come to. The first link is that digital cut file dashboard with all the collections, over 600 plus cut files. Um, this link right here is only if you are a Summit member, which that means you're a ticket by default Summit. These one, two, three, four things right here are courses to help you master your die cutting machine. If you're a year member, you get access to all of these. And this one's on how to um, build a blog if you're interested in becoming like an influencer and things like that. Um, this right here is the download your PDF of all of the cut files so you can print that out and see what you get with your membership. This is the printable guide we have on hand, the which vinyl should you use printable, our member only Facebook group. And then here at the bottom is a video teaching you how to download a collection, pick a file and upload it into Cricut. But we also have way more videos here on the YouTube channel. So that video is fantastic and we really enjoy it. So great question, Connie, and thank you. We give you everything you need. And the Facebook group has so many references, so many great things for you guys. So. We love the Facebook group. It's And people say they love it too. Yay! And let's see here. Beverly says, hey, Beverly. any chance you'll be doing another 20% off on the membership for your members? We, we just might. I'm just going to say, Beverly, if you need your membership, stay tuned, maybe to tomorrow, because um, we're launching our fonts, and that means uh, it's a celebration here. We are super excited for launching such an amazing um, value to the membership, so definitely stay tuned um, for that. That's a great question. And Deborah says, she Hi, has Deborah. a question on the classes on the summit. She yes. says, is there a PDF to go along with the videos? Um, there are like the printables for the supplies and different things like that, yes. 
And that's all the questions awesome. we got for well, now. Awesome, guys, let's get crafting. So here's what we're working with today, guys. We're using Never Grow Up, which I love this file right here. Um, this is one Rachel requested. This is the shirt we're putting it on today. We found this at Five Below, and it has like some netting, which I think is pretty intriguing um, right here up at the top. But this is going to be a great sweatshirt. It's 13 to 15 degrees right now, which I'm, I'm oh, Rachel. Lord. Don't talk. Let's just not even. Oh, we'll, we'll address that later. <laughs> um, but this is 100% um, polyester. So we will um, be able to reference that um, on the Easy Press temperature chart and everything like that. Um, but this is a great one. It does feel like cottony. So I was kind of surprised to see that it's like polyester. But hey, what do I know? So this is what we're using it on. We're doing a one layer project. You would be able to, you know, duplicate this layer. Um, and then change the color if you all wanted to do maybe um, grow white. a different color. Or something. Yeah, grow it could yeah. be the it could be the glitter and the never and up could be another color or something like that. Um, that would be a lot of fun. But this is just a really simple and awesome glitter HTV project. So we've already sized it. And again, we talk about this all the time. You want to take your project and you want to take a ruler of some sort. We love this one right here because it's whoops super um, easy to kind of go around and we've decided that about nine inches wide would be perfect for this project and it'll go for about eight inches down so always position your projects about three to four inches i'm going to give a little bit more because of this netting so right down at four is where we'll be positioning that today um and it works really well so we love 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 using glitter htv we've got our big easy press out today which i really like love that um, thing it's a great easy press it is and we can go ahead and look at the easy press temperature chart right here and see for polyester it says set to 330 and then use an iron-on protective sheet while pressing peel off warm i don't think necessarily we need one of those but if you would like to use one feel free um <clears throat> and that would be something like um the uh there's a few different names that you could use you could use like a cloth you could use a piece of not contact paper rachel what would be um that you bake a press with? cloth you mean yeah, like just like a press a towel, towel a something towel, like that yeah something thin something easy but there's a few things from the the kitchen section people use i'm trying to think of what it is called i cannot think of it to save my life. a tea towel terry cloth towel uh, no 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 it's um no no, no. it's a uh oh gosh it's contact. It's not contact paper. It's the other one. Parchment paper? Parchment paper. A lot of people like to use parchment paper as that in-between layer. But we'll test it out here today. I don't think you necessarily need it, at least for this type of material. Some other polyesters, I would um, say that you do. So yeah, okay. Um, we've already sized this. Again, we've got 9 by 8.4. So we're going to go ahead and click Make It. And we've already loaded up the Cricut with our glitter HTV and everything. So what we're going to do is turn a mirror on. It is our first time that we um, have been using iron on in a little bit. It's been a little, like a minute or two, I know, Rachel. we've been using vinyl. Yeah, so I love we, using So we the popped vinyl. this out today, which is great. I love using vinyl, but I also just love using um, all of our amazing products like um, iron on. It's yeah, so good. glitter. We love we love to wear out that glitter. Oh, we for sure. So anyway, we just went ahead and mirrored it. We're going to press continue. And we have some questions about the fonts. Okay, go ahead. Will they be available to all members? They will not. It is only for yearly members. So we will still be releasing our monthly collection of die cutting files for monthly and all members, but these will be exclusive to yearly members. So if you guys are ready to upgrade your membership be sure to email us um, and we will get you um, upgraded to that yearly membership so you're able to enjoy all that we have to offer in the membership and for our year members so what we went ahead and was able to do was give more pressure and turn fast mode on we have our fine point blade in so that means you're able to cut this on all of your different devices you're able to use your Cricut maker your Cricut explorer anything like that um, and that brings up a great question for our membership. Um, a lot of questions are, can I use this on different machines? Yes, we love our Cricut Maker. We love our Cricut Explorer Airs. Um, we love all of the Cricuts, but you're also able to use this on Brother Scan and Cut, um, the Silhouette Machine, and all that lineup too. So it's a lot of fun. So once you're good to go, what we're going to do is press that flashing Cricut button and we're just gonna watch it cut and it's gonna be really fun. 
And Sharon says, do they make a printable HTV? They do make a printable HTV and we really um, like that. We have not tested it on a live stream yet, but we have made a few projects. So stick with us. We have one in the home collection that we definitely want to use printable HTV with the Hedgehog. Um, and it's just like printable vinyl, but it's a uh, heat transfer vinyl. So it's really fun. Um, instead of just printing and applying something to your car decals and things, you're able to heat set it and wear it. So we love that. Yeah, and unfortunately Cricut does not sell that anymore. Yeah, I think they may be redefining it for us, making Which it better. Which hopefully, yeah, hopefully We're they'll ready. pop out with something that works a little better if they had anything to tweak, definitely, you know. Definitely, definitely. They're always improving for us. So we love that. That's awesome. Yeah. But we can test out some different um, brands and yeah. let y'all know which we've, one's the best. We've ordered some um, and we're going to be testing to try to find a, a great solution for everyone because we love printable heat, heat transfer and we want to be able to stand behind one that we know will work really well for you guys. Oh, Tanner. What? Tonda said it's negative nine in Indiana. Oh, heavens. I'm so sorry, Tonda. Uh, that's wrap horrible. up. Wrap, wrap up. Wrap up. Don't do anything. I honestly, it, it was really cold this morning when I got up, but it wasn't as bad as I expected. I did heat up my car, which I felt like Rachel at this point. As soon as I woke up, I put on my flip flops and went outside and um, started to heat up my car just because uh, it was like 6:45 and I did not want to be cold. You have um, to heat your car up, Tanner. I never for the heat engine, my car never, up. especially if you have an older car like mine, you have to let them bad boys heat up. I've, I don't really like heating my car up because it's just one extra step, you know, Rach. And I forgot to mention, if you're brand new to Cricut and you feel overwhelmed, this is just what you're gonna want to do: is always apply your heat transfer vinyl. You see the shine. You see the shine. We had a question about that. Tanner. Oh, that's a great question. Yeah. You want to make sure it's shiny side down, and that's why you mirror the image so that you're able to cut reverse and then it all works itself out, works the kinks out. Yeah. So with the glitter HTV, we always forget this, um, but we love using um, a bright pad when we're not filming. Like right now, I'd probably go grab the bright pad, but since we're filming. Oh, and Tanner, I saw an awesome hack. What, an Rachel, awesome tell hack. me the hack. It's um, for only for glitter, iron on and vinyl and things like, well, I think just iron on. But if you don't have a bright pad and you want to be able to see the lines, uh -huh. they say you can use a little bit of baby powder wow. and rub it on the back. I don't know how. I haven't tested it. Don't, you know, sure, sure, do sure. it with your own discretion if you want to. <laughs> but I just saw that somewhere. It lets you see your cuts really well, which is neat. I you love know? that. Yeah. That's great. And let's see here. We have some questions. Oh, people say they hear me great. Good. I'm so Yay. glad. I got a mic, so that's great. Le Lisa says, can you iron heat and bond onto vinyl? Rachel, do I just have a craft bill. I'm hmm? having a moment. I'm having a moment here. I don't oh, think. Oh, are you? I'm trying to think. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, my. Wait, did I? <laughs> I can't tell. I think I just tore up my U. Your U? Yep, my U. I think I just tore it up. Yep. I sure did, but you know what? I think we can save it. We can save it. I think we can save it. We can. I don't know about it. <gasps> okay. Okay. So this is this part of the U. And then if we go around. I love Tanner's focus. He's oh so my focused. Gosh, I'm so nervous so about my U. I totally was not paying attention. I was too busy chatting. Okay. But about the heat and okay, bond. Okay, I fixed it. I don't know why. Back to heat and bond. If you wanted to use heat and bond on I your love heat and bond. What vinyl? are we talking about with heat and bond? I'm sorry. Um, Lisa says, can you iron heat and bond onto vinyl? <gasps> you would never want to iron heat and bond onto vinyl. Um, yeah. That will not. Uh, great idea, though. I do have to say. Yeah, points for creativity the there. Um, no, the heat and bond will not turn your vinyl into heat transfer vinyl, unfortunately. Um, so, yes, that's it. Great question. Great, great question. And Patty wants to know how much is the yearly membership? Ooh, that's a great question. So regular price, you can get it for $191. That is $15.99 a month billed annually. So every 12 months. And it's on auto pay, thank goodness. I love yes, auto pay. Yes, we love that. And um, yeah, you're able to get all of our existing files. You're going to get fonts tomorrow, which we love. I just... <laughs> I just oh. took a G out. So, what we're going to do... Um, <laughs> That's a bowl curl if you need to recut it. So, here's what we're going to do. You know how we're talking about um, making this a multi-layer project? We're going to make it a multi-layer project. So, what we're going to do 
this is a great way if you have a craft fail. Right, guys? You have that craft fail going on like we have today. No one's perfect. No one's perfect. You're, you can't be Becky perfect. Becky said all you need to buy a remote starter for your car. Uh, Becky, let's talk about this remote starter. Oh, oh no. Here we go. <laughs> I thought my car had a remote start until after I got off the lot and I was like, poop. I forgot. Poop. I wanted the Poop. remote start. Poop. So Becky, yes, <laughs> I need to spend. Is it like two hundred bucks? I don't know. Two seventy five, something like sure, that. Sure, sure. Worth every go, penny, I'd say. I need to go and get that remote starter um, because I love it. Okay, so what we are going to do? Actually, you know what? We're just gonna recut the entire thing, and here's why. Because if you notice, let's get this camera right here. Sure. Um, I didn't apply enough vinyl to the mat. So it had, it cut my U off and my P off a little, um, just by a hair or two. And I really want to make this as perfect as possible. So you all haven't seen me. I don't know the last time, honestly, I do not know the last time that I threw away a project. Oh man, it's been a fresh. hot minute, Tanner. So I'm throwing it away. I'm finding my bulk roll. It's right here. So we're just go start fresh. And this is just gonna let you guys know we're real. It's fun. It's easy to be able to you know, take the bulk roll of the HGV. Let's not remember how much it costs because that wouldn't make us feel better. No. Because we had a craft fill and no. it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna take it. We're gonna take our Cricut knife. We're going to cut off the excess right here. I'm giving two extra inches because I do not want that to happen again. And we're just gonna start fresh. And that just means more time hanging out. So I hope you all are having a fantastic Monday. We're not letting our fails get to us this Monday. And we're gonna just recut that. So notice how I put it down on the mat. I use the knife. You guys see that I do a lot on the mat. I apply my vinyl, I cut it to size, I weed on the mat. These things are very intentional because it makes the process better in my opinion. Definitely. You could have a different process and that's okay. And so. Kathy said that that knife is the best thing ever and it <laughs> sure Kathy, is. Girl, you True know. True control knife is 10 out of 10. We love it. And if you guys want to use our links to shop Cricut, we would really appreciate it. That is a great way to support what we do here after getting our membership. The membership is the number one way to support everything we do. Um, the Cricut affiliate links is definitely number two on supporting all of our fun here. So we're going to give that a little bit more pressure as we have been able to do. We're gonna turn fast mode on and I'm gonna press the flashing cricket button. Rachel, on, on the top of your head, do you know where our bright pad is? We could demonstrate that. I do. Ooh, I actually, see. but see, here's the problem. I don't know where the cord was. When oh I was, no. When the I was organizing, cord. I couldn't find the cord. The cord. Which is so sad. It is very sad. It, it might be in the actual cord bin. That would be a great place to put the cord. You know, we'll have to do a video on the bright pad. We have some stuff coming up using the bright pad, so we're super excited and cannot wait. And it definitely does help your process. But I love what Rachel was talking about with the baby powder. That's really awesome. I've heard a few people talk about that, so it's great. Yeah, one of the, our viewers said it worked, but she Ooh. still prefers the bright pad, of which course. I totally don't blame you. If you've got it, use it. Yeah, we love the bright pad. Yeah. Um, it's really awesome. So yes, let us know what you all are thinking. We're going to cut through this one more time. <coughs> Luckily, it's already almost halfway cut through. Love Bless that. Bless up. Super awesome. We've got a Cricut newbie asking. Ooh, I love Cricut newbies. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for hanging out with us. Do you have to use different blades for the cutting? That's a great question. So we have the fine point blade, which comes with your machine. And then you get a rotary blade if you have a maker. But if you just have an explorer, it comes with a machine. And that thing will work for probably, I like to say, six months. I at least stretch your uh, blade to work six months. And that is going to let you uh, allow you to cut, you know, iron-on, vinyl, cardstock, vellum, like tons of different materials. We were cutting um, faux suede leather, you know, faux leather, all those different things. Super awesome. So, okay, we have cut this out again. I'm going to make sure not to make the mistakes I prior made. Um, and I'm going to use the lot to be able to be my god right now. So, super awesome. I'm going to maybe start up at the top. Wherever you feel, feel led. If you feel <laughs> led, start at the top. Thank you, Rachel. Thank start you, at the thank top. You, thank you. So what's everyone saying? We've got some questions, but I'm scared to ask them while you're let waiting. Me, let me focus here for yeah, a you just second. Focus. It's once you get started, it's easier to get stick with it so we are started here oh and everybody said they love their remote starters oh 
Everyone oh. and their fancy remote start but me. <laughs> I know. And here, okay, this is a funny story. My mom had a Chevy Equinox for like six years. We don't approve of Equinox anymore. And when she went and got a new key fob because her key fob broke, she had no idea that the entire six years she had a remote start. Stop. But she totally did. Stop, Rachel. She was. She would make me go start her car in the cold mornings while she was getting ready for work. Oh, she would have to go out there and start her car. Gosh. And the whole time she had a remote start. One of the mechanics showed her and it embarrassed her. It, but it was funny. God love her heart. She thought she was going to have Bless to Bless her one. heart. She had it the whole time. What if I have it and I just don't know how to use it? <laughs> Well, what do they say? It's like press button, it three times. A, yeah. Press it's, like it's unlock different or something on different, three times. I don't. Know. I mean, I honestly, don't. I have no idea. I just don't think I, I didn't make it, it didn't make it on my I need list. So, Rachel. What? Did you mirror it? No, I did. I did. Okay, Chadwick wanted me to ask you. Oh, thank you, Chadwick. This is, okay, I think because it's so cold, and you guys know we work it out of a converted garage, it gets the iron-on feeling a sort of way. And, and we have it. heat on, but we always, you know, turn it off when we're not here. Yeah, like that. we got to save money. Yeah, we're not just in here struggling. Right. And, Tanner, we have a couple of troubleshoot questions. Okay. Where can those be answered? Yeah, of course. Well, um, you can email us, hi at makersgonnalearn.com if you have any issues accessing cut files or anything like that. Um, you are more than welcome to send us an email and we will get those answered. And though that you can find that in our description of this video. It's hi at makersgonnalearn.com. Leslie said she loves her true control knife and the self-healing mat. <gasps> the self-healing mat's amazing. Okay, let's find this in here. I feel like, yep. I'm kind of just going with my finger. How we doing, Tanner? I, I, I feel okay with it. I just feel like there's something off, you know? Do y'all ever feel that way? Like, it should be easier. Like, that's how I feel today. And this is a lot of glitter HGV I'm wasting, unfortunately. Um, but we have to weed out all of it. Okay. Yes. We need this craft to be successful. We have yes. to waste a little. It's okay. Yes. And we have a question. Can the Explore 2 cut foam sheets? Yes, it can. There's a particular way to be able to do that. Um, and you need to probably watch a video on it. There's a few um, different ways. So if it's a setting on your machine, just set it to it. And then, um, you know, it'll be able to cut through, just follow the instructions that the machine tells you. But if you are wanting to try something like different, I would definitely watch a video of some sort. Did I break my G again? No, no, okay. We're, mm, we're okay. Do you want to scoot the matted hair up? Yes. Sorry if you, if you guys cannot see this. I need to move this t-shirt out of my way as well. There and, we and go. And we have some comments. Yes, this is Cricut Glitter uh, Iron-On. Yeah, and we love it. I think it's just because of the temperature issue we were talking about earlier. Um, I honestly think that's all it is. Yeah, and about the temperature issue, Denise says, would a heat gun work to warm it up? I don't know. I've never... Um... I don't know if our goal is like to warm it up. I think just being in the like in the cold is like not letting it like right. weed as easy. Right, it did something to it. Yeah, maybe. definitely. So yes, that's a great idea, Denise. So Kathy goes. said she can't wait for tax refund season so she can just go out and buy a ton of cricket stuff. <laughs> We're with you, Kathy. <laughs> Kathy, I totally agree. Oh, look at Tanner getting all up in the shot. Yes, um, Tanner. Am I in the shot? Dedicated. You were. I were. Uh, <laughs> Barbara said she's had this same problem, so. Yeah, it's okay, and this happens. Like, I'm not going to lie, this is not the first time it's ever happened. Yeah, just got to give it a little more love. Yeah, a little, little extra love goes a long way in Cricut. And uh, Quina says, do you have a number that we can reach you all at? We do not. We do not offer cust uh, phone customer support. You, The only way you can get customer support is via email. But it's super fast, seven yeah. days a week, you'll get it answered. Yep, Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. to um, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, and for all your customer support. So, yeah. Yeah, seven days a week you. is awesome. And I don't know about you all, I I don't love calling people. I just, 
could like call on people for technical support. I would almost rather email. Rachel, do you even like ordering the pizza on no, the phone? No, I make my husband order everything on the phone. I have anxiety when <laughs> I have to call people. Back me up. I don't love it. I don't, and I feel like there's a lot of people out there that would rather, you know, get yeah. their answer in a timely manner over the internet than have to talk to a bunch of people. And right, I don't know. right, 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 right. That's just me though. Whatever. Okay, so we are having what a time to be alive. And it might be that roll. I don't know why it we would be. Know. I don't know. I don't think we've used that very often. I don't know, guys. I honestly do not know. Okay, so we're just going to weed this piece up. Trish says, I like to see you struggle, struggle sometimes because <laughs> it gives me a chance to see how to problem solve certain issues. Yep, sometimes you just got to say, cut it again. Sometimes. Tanner, we could say that this is all on purpose. We could say this is mm -hmm. just so that people would know for next time. All the times that I keep messing up. Yep, this is <laughs> all on purpose, guys. Oh, Kathy said she orders pizza online. Come on, Kathy. <laughs> That's the best way. Oh, it, I, only Domino. Well, I guess Papa John's offers it too here. I Who wish else? Pizza Plus did. Pizza Plus <sighs> is my favorite. They don't know who Pizza Plus is, Rachel. I know. Which like they pals. need They're to like, know. They're like, pals, what? Th yeah, they don't. They don't know all of our southern blessings. <laughs> Oh my God. Lots of people are agreeing with me. They're happy that we've got the email. <laughs> Yay. And we only offer email support. I do want to talk about that for a second. Guys, if you send me a Facebook message, if you send me a personal Facebook message, I love you. <laughs> I love getting personal Facebook messages. I, I respond to a lot of them. But if you want customer support, I'm not replying to questions when I'm on live. So like I can't so, like get you answers. I can't get you answers when we're developing new fonts. I can't get answers when I'm in Mexico. You know, so the, the customer support team is there, though. So use it. I mean, it's a great thing. Um, there are times where we do appreciate you guys sending me a personal Facebook message if your email's not getting through. That's a great time to send me a personal Facebook message and send your info. So if you are having issues, if you haven't got a reply or something, Send me a personal Facebook message. Send the any of the pages we manage. It's like Makers Gonna Learn's Facebook page messages or anything like that so that we can get you support. But the number one, the number one way to reach us is via the contact form. Oh my gosh, I'm almost done weeding this. <laughs> Guys, this has been this has been a challenge. This is not this is not the challenge I expected this Monday. My morning went really smoothly, and now I know why. So and how long this. should people like chill out and wait for their emails before they? <gasps> That's a they... great question. Yeah. I really appreciate that. Um, probably like 24 hours to 48 hours. Um, I know a lot of you, if there's issues accessing your account, you crafting time is precious time. Um, so definitely if you could give us 24 hours and then follow up and then um, message on one of the platforms we were just talking about. That's a great idea. So yeah, if you are still waiting to hear back or something like that, um, send us an email or a Facebook message and follow up on that contact form. But I do like to say if you have filled out the contact form and you are um, still waiting for a reply, be sure to send us a direct email because that way nothing gets lost in spam and both of our email providers will know hey, they like each other um, and will not send either of our emails to spam. Hope that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know why some emails are sent to listen, spam. It's, listen, It's crazy. Like some people, if you have a Yahoo email, I just want to let you know, very low chance of getting through, um, which is weird because like, like our email provider thinks that like Yahoo emails are like spam or something. I don't know. It's crazy. Okay, Rachel, do you see here in the camera any other spots I could be missing? Um, Never in E V E R G R O W U P. I think we look pretty good. I think we're looking great. Oh, uh, I'm so excited. How are you Guys, feeling, Tanner? How, how are you I feel feeling? so much better. <laughs> it's always that time in the project where you're like, Guys, when Rachel would be so close to the camera, when she was zoomed in, she would be like cleaning up after me. I really okay, miss, I, I really can't miss help that. It. I really miss it. Oh, you miss it? I Look at me! You. I'm having to clean up my own okay. stuff. I never. I don't think we ever talked about that, but I thought that it really. Annoyed I don't you. know if the, the our friends ever knew that that happened, but it was great. Um, I couldn't handle it with yeah. the tools everywhere. I was like, come on, Tanner. <laughs> so we're gonna take this down. We're gonna place it. We have the Cricut Easy Press mat on the bottom. 
Then we're taking our sweatshirt and now we're going to position the sweatshirt on the mat. And I love that jumbo easy press mat. Guys, Even if you're not using the bigger easy press, I just recommend. love that mat. Highly recommend this mat just because you get a lot of coverage. You can do a lot of different things. And if you're wondering where we got this like sweatshirt, we were able to pick it up at five below, which we love. And we're able to use the easy press reference sheet, which we love from our membership makers gonna learn. Um, this is Cricut, just so that you can have a nice printout. It's in the book. You have all kinds of different things. If you're a member, you know, what mat should I use? It tells you that you, you know, what to use iron on, what to use vinyl, all of it. Like we have it right here for you. So many pages of good Cheat stuff. Cheat sheets, like so many terms if you're a newbie. That terms thing was- Listen, only, Rachel. Uh, you don't even know it was Listen, do you need to know what a zip file is? Do you need to know what unflattened means? Like that is so it's here. handy, Tanner. We're here for you. Yes. Even if you have been a crafter forever, um, we, we have pretty good resources. Yeah. So now what we're going to do, honestly guys, uh, the easy press shut off because it took me too long. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use it to preheat. It just cut off on its own. So I'm preheating my fabric. Um, notice how I like move the easy press around when I am preheating. That's a really bad habit to start because once you lay your iron on down, you do not want to do that motion again, right? So what we're doing is I'm applying that down and what I'm going to do is give you guys some tips on positioning. So you can just throw it down, but taking your sweatshirt and folding it, making sure you're directly in the middle. This is going to allow you to get a nice crease with your heat easy press so that you can see where the middle is really truly at. So you just folded it so like the shoulders and everything mm -hmm. are all we, And I just focus in up. like right here to make sure this little neckline is lined up. So smart. Super awesome. When you open it up, you can kind of see a faint, faint line. Um, that's all you need. You just need the faint line. And then you want to take, I like to take this opposite ends. So like for our wattest angle, which would be grow. And I just give a little, little pinch. And you can kind of see here that this would be right at the middle for us. So right here, this looks pretty good. I don't know if I want to move it up. Like this is definitely throwing me off, Rachel. What do you think? I think that's think? a great, great spot. Okay, I think so too. That yeah. is a few inches more than normal. But again, the little different type of shirt. It's right at like four and a half, which is not bad at all. Um, for placement. So you're gonna apply this down. And guys, if you have any questions, now is a great time to leave those comments. And if you're thinking about membership, leave us any questions, concerns you may have so they're able to answer those for you guys. And Chadwick wants to know what size mat that is. This is the large 12 by 10 easy press mat. So it's a little bit larger. 16 by 20, by is that it? Is it 16 by 20 right That's now? what he asked. He was like, 16 by 20 question oh, mark. Oh, oh, yes. We'll look It's the biggest one, one Chadwick, whichever one. Yes, we love that one. So now we're going to hit this for 30 seconds. And people are asking where they can find their printable guides. Right? <gasps> That's a great question. Well, if you are a member of makersgonnalearn.com, Ooh, that is hot tamales. Um, we are going to <laughs> fold this over and hit again. Um, it does recommend that backing sheet. I'm not a big fan of the backing sheet, but this is polyester, so you probably do want it. Um, so, yep, just hit the back. But you can find that on your dashboard. If you have a membership to makersgonnalearn.com, you're going to find that on your dashboard. So we love that. Oh, we're going to let that cool for a second, but it already, it already looks awesome. So, all right, if you need to know where it is, it's on the dashboard. Head on over there, log in, and get it. It's an instant download so that you're able to enjoy this beautiful Cricut God. Another reason to enjoy your membership. So many awesome pages, 20 pages, people are asking. And you can print it at your house or, you know, print it at Staples or Staples. Any Office Depot, Office We Max. printed ours at the UPS store because I'm BFFs with the owner of the UPS store. She's amazing. So, oh, Rachel. Gorgeous. 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 I love this. I'm a big fan of like, I don't know why. Can you I wonder if they can see? Oh, here we go. This is here we go. I love these new angles. Tanner, you're <laughs> cracking me up. I love this it. This glitter, man. This love is the really glitter, able though. to pick up the true glitter. And guys, in person, this is so much easier to to read because this is not as dark as it's showing on camera. Yeah, no, it's, it's a very light gray. It's very light gray. Okay, we'll show it on the second camera too. Um, 
look at this, guys. Never grow up. Yeah, with move our it new, around. Oh, look at that. With oh, our new Disney files. It. How stinking adorable is it to make a sweatshirt? So you guys are going to love being able to make your own sweatshirt. Can you imagine taking an Instagram pic next to the Cinderella's castle in that thing? I can. I Rachel's can. ready. Rachel's ready. ready. This is going to be an amazing I've never one. been to Disney World, so I'm We're pumped. getting Rachel to Disney this year. I told one of my other friends that that was Rachel's like goal for the year was to get to Disney. It is. So we're going to make that happen for her. She wants to go to Disney World, and it's going to be awesome. So <laughs> if you guys are ready to get your membership so that you're able to enjoy all the fun that we were talking about, um, if this is what your dashboard would look like when you become a member. And the printable guide is only available to members. So you can't purchase that separately, unfortunately. That's just because we pour so much into our members. And like Tanner said, don't you be giving that to your friends. Don't be. Yeah, somebody asked if they give that to their friends. I'm like, no, you got to be a member. So, yeah, this is the link, first link down below. You can get your year membership right here. You can click on our sign up now for best offer. And that is our year membership. So you definitely are going to be able to enjoy that benefit and that membership tier. We love, love, love our year members. So that is going to give you the financial incentive compared to being a monthly member and all that fun stuff. But seriously, we have so many different things going on. Like we talk a lot about Makers Gonna Learn, but we have just been so like dedicated and focused on providing value to our members. So it's a lot of fun between the cut files, the fonts, the bonus file, our printable guide, like whew, so much. I'm tired. I bet you are, Tara. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good stuff. I love it. Um, yeah. So or what other questions might we have? We don't have any questions. We're just getting a lot of love. I, okay. If you can see over here, there's lots of hearts. hearts. People we love, that. love this project, love the membership. Missy said. Great. They, well, they're all loving it. That's amazing. Well, I'm going to pick our member of the day. There was one I saw earlier that I was like, ooh, if I find it during the, the member of the day time, um, it's a little fun. So we are going to find our member of the day. There's so many amazing members here sharing different ideas. We love, love, love that. So let's see who is here. This was just posted yesterday. This is not the person I was thinking about, but you know how we were talking about that printable HTV, Rachel? Yes. Look at what Janet made. Made this from the home collection today. Love that little hedgehog. It says living on the hedge. Living on the hedge. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. It's amazing. And I love to see what you guys um, do and get crafty. So, so many people were commenting. I mean, as you can see, it's definitely a very popular project. So, if you guys have not downloaded the home collection, Get busy. We're keeping you all busy with crafts. Like, thank you, Janet, for being a member because you are our member of the day. Janet's amazing. So again, Janet, thank you for having your membership. Thank you for getting crafty with our files. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun here. Like, we love it. So We have so many cut files. So many that files. That you can use in so many different ways. <laughs> and, and videos. And, oh, and gosh. Everything. So, so many. Really if you're running awesome. a business, you know, with that free commercial license, pays for itself plus a ton more, you know, depending on what you want to make and how much you make and all that good stuff. Definitely. So what's everyone saying in the comments? They love it. Leslie said, I freaking love her hedgehog. Yay! We love it. <laughs> we um, love it. Let's see here. <laughs> Belinda, Rachel, do you not see my question. Belinda, please ask it again. Yeah. Um, I'm sure I just ran right over it. I'm sorry. It's oh, Rach, our, we lost our main camera. Hang on. Mm -mm -mm. Hi. Hang We're on coming back. We're coming back. Hang on. We're Allah. Back. Sorry about that. <laughs> it, we lose it. It comes. It goes. We Every don't. half hour. I clicked it once, but it okay, was on top of it. It's okay. Uh, so, Belinda, please ask your question again. Yeah. Marsha says, so the Disney files are available now? Girl, you can go get them right now. Look at this. If you go to your dashboard right here under, doo -doo 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 -doo, I clicked on build a business on accident. Um, here's your dashboard. You know, you are a member, right? So, if you're a member, you can go to your dashboard right now. Um, you click on your digital die cutting dashboard. So right here, look at the top of that page, Rachel. Disney. Disney, Disney, Disney. Disney. Love it. So if you're on the edge, if you're on the hedge, like the hedgehog, <laughs> about getting a membership, um, you can see here we have all of the different cut files collections. So we have the Disney collection, the home collection, organization, um, lots of Christmas files, over 150, the pet collection. I mean, we just have like collections forever. So super, super awesome. Collections um, for every occasion, any occasion. Yeah. It's good. The summer collection, mom and dad, spring. We love it. So, Makers, anyway, guys. Life celebration. 
buttons. Everything. Yes. And Belinda <laughs> said, was the manual printed on cardstock and then laminated on the thick film? Yeah, we definitely, that's what we did. So it was just printed. I think it was printed on like a, just a thick paper, actually, since you laminate it, you don't need to print it on cardstock. Right. Um, and then you laminate it and then you're good to go. So then we coiled it. Um, but yeah, you can do whatever you want. There's been a lot of people sharing the ways that they're um, storing theirs. So you all are amazing. And I hope you guys stay creative with all of the different things from our cut files to the videos to the fonts coming tomorrow. I'm so excited. Everyone is so excited. I hope you all are excited. I'm ready. There's so many coming out. I cannot wait to go through and share with you all all of them. We're going to have a lot of fun tomorrow with the projects, the files. Ugh. I'm ready. I'm ready, Rach. I'm ready. And we're going to only show you guys a few tomorrow of the projects. And then for like a week straight, two yep. weeks, however long, we're just going to be slamming you guys with mm -hmm. awesome font projects and what i love about the font projects that are coming is that you're getting the tutorials on how to manipulate fonts and how to work with fonts because i feel like that's something here on the channel we haven't got to cover a lot because we're already always using our die cutting files so this is another great benefit that even if you are someone that's like i'm never buying a membership da, 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 i just like to watch you um yeah you're still going to get to learn how to work with fonts but hopefully our fonts so, yeah. yeah but no everybody <laughs> says they can't wait chadwick again not sure if that's the 16 by 20 mat. Whichever oh. Cricut sells that's the biggest, that's the one we got. It doesn't tell me the size, but guess what? I got my handy dandy ruler. Doo -doo -doo. This is 20 by 16. Yep. 20 by Chadwick, 20. you yep. are right. 20 by 16. Chadwick's on it. So yes, highly recommend that mat. Be sure to use our links below if you want to support what we do here. Use the coupon code MGL. Um, and again, that is MGL for Makers Gonna Learn. That will give you 10% off on orders over $50, as well as give you free shipping on orders over $50. If you have an order under $50, I do not think the coupon code works. Tanner, who only orders like $20 worth of Cricut stuff? Come on. Come With on. the shipping fees, I highly recommend just bulking it together and getting that free shipping after over $50. Um, and different things like that. So yeah. hope you guys enjoy. If you want to take that 10% off, um, be sure to use the link below. Some people get confused on if I just use the coupon code, will that give us credit? No. Um, for us to be credited for your order, you must go ahead and use that link below. So be sure to click that Shop Cricut link down below. It definitely has helped us. Um, so we really appreciate it. And we cannot wait to get crafty and share more with you tomorrow when our fonts launch. Are there any last questions? Yes, Chadwick says, oh, where'd it go? Oh, oh here we go. <laughs> are, are any of the fonts writing fonts? We got all the fonts, Chadwick. You are going to be very fulfilled. And if there's not a font you see that launch tomorrow, know that there's gonna be many, many more coming out this year. Like Chadwick, so there's gonna be fonts you didn't even know you wanted, but then you want real bad when you see them. <laughs> so, that is so true. Yes. That's a great example. You're just, gonna you're gonna love them. Yeah, we know what you want before you even know you want it. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna, I scroll through them sometimes, I'm like, oh my gosh, look at these things. It's good stuff. So hope you guys have a fantastic Monday. I hope this had a lot of fun hanging out and chatting with us. If you guys have any questions, be sure to reach out and we'll see you back here real soon. Bye.